Hello all, Courtney Lyons here with Diamonds Are Girls Best Friend and today I have a month in review for the month of March 2024. Okay, so um, month in review is where you take what did you work on this month and then, well, not even just worked on, but what did you finish this month? And I have three finishes. One, I'm going to start with this one because um, here's my logbook for the National Parks one. Um, sorry, not National Parks one. <laughs> There's some National Parks in there. That's not a spoiler, by the way. That's on the site when you go to look and see if you want this. This is Paint Gem, and it is the Mystery Kit edition, the first edition. And, uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I, I've, this is my second Paint Gem finish now. And I liked the floral better, but I still had a ton of fun with this. And it was really high quality. Some of the rendering was kind of funny. I mean, this is a whatever. If they did this thing where if you bought a kit, you would get a mystery kit for free. And I kind of wonder if there were a few things that they realized weren't quite up to their usual standard with it. Um, but it was still a ton of fun. And it's actually my first mystery diamond painting anything. And it's it's a little bit <clears throat> it's a little bit more exhausting <coughs> sorry because you have to make sure you're getting the symbol right because the color is not right like it's it's black and white so um but that's okay it was it was fun i think it'll be a little bit before your mystery again but it was i had a lot of fun with it um but yeah it it was it was great uh the drills were a little trashier but um, anyway, you'll see most of this in the post review. So, um, but since I can't show you the mystery edition, I thought I'd show you because I, I know a lot of people don't watch month or don't watch like normal reviews. They just go and watch the month in reviews, months in review after the fact, um, which I totally understand. Hold on, I have to move it out of the way because when it opens, it hits my camera. And my camera doesn't need to be hit because it is not in good shape right now. Not my camera so much as my camera stand because I just use my phone as my camera. All right, so these are my paint drum finishes. I'm just going to show you my floral finishes because if you're unfamiliar with paint gem, this gives you a really good idea of it. They are these little mini kits, <clears throat> um, partial usually, but there are some that are full. And uh, the mystery ones were all full. They were not like partial like this. They were full ones. And they just... You can see from the sparkle how good they are. This kind of gives you a general idea of the quality and the shine, and it's it's worth paint gems so worth it. If you're hesitant because they're partial or small, they are just like the high quality snack size. If you want a snack size, these are high quality as snack size as you can get. Um, so anyway, the floral is not the one I finished. Obviously, it was the uh, so I'm just making sure the mystery kit, um, but I can't show that one to you, obviously. I will show you what I did with the, just make sure I'm not accidentally, okay. This is my little doodle to show that mystery kit was next, mystery number one, because they do have a number two and a number three on the site, and I just put a bunch of question marks. <laughs> it's not my best doodle, but it's, it works. And yeah, so I'm gonna move this out of the way so I don't accidentally show you because I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, yeah, looking at them now though, I am impressed all over again. It was really fun. There was, it did seem like there was a slight bit more amount of gapping in, whoops, I kind of flopped those closed, uh, in this kit, in the mystery kit rather than in the floral kit. I think the mystery kit is older than the floral kit. Oh, actually, there's a way to find out if it is. Thank you, Julie, for giving me the suggestion that floral 803 in the bottom corner. Let me show you. We're thinking this means the number, the kit number that came out. Um, and then number four was, it was the fourth painting on here. So let me look at the mystery kit. 2307, hmm. so maybe not, is mystery the 23rd one? They're all 23, so it could be the florals older, so I'm not sure what went on with the mystery kit, if it's the 23rd one. 
Okay, that's a good, sorry, you can probably not hear me as well over here. Um, that's a good theory, Julie, and I am going to check that out because you very well could be right that that second number down there, or the first number, is the number released of, on the kit number, like floral or mystery or whatever, and then the second number is the canvas number in that kit. So. I'd be interested to find out. Maybe I could even just email Paint Gem and get the answer right away. That kind of takes the fun out of it though, right? I had to figure it out on my own. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but if you do know for sure, if that's the case, uh, please do comment down below and let me know. Okay, so for, so for the second finish, okay, actually, this finish came first. Let me show it to you. Yeah. Because this is my winter palette from the Diamonds on Canvas LLC, and that is this winter box right here. And it came with um, six different kits or canvases. There were also great stuff. I'm really into these, like, <laughs> squeaky spot. Um, I'm really into these canvases right now, or these kits that have multiple canvases in it that are small, like Paint Gem, and then I, I just really love this idea. I have a future video idea uh, that I, obviously in the works right now, where I find snack size canvases that are quality and talk about them and rank them um, based off of quality and stuff. And they were really, really good. Uh, I have one of them upstairs ready to be kitted up in, uh, it's a future video coming up next week, actually, of the, I got the, uh, Cattiered, um, oh my gosh, am I forgetting the name of it? Cattiered, uh, Tray Bricks, Tray Bricks, T-R-A-B-R-I-C-K-S, um, and I'm really excited to show those off because they're the, it's a container that's also a tray and it closes up and everything and it's going to be so much fun. I'm going to kit up the one that you guys actually voted on um, for the, my next one to start with this and I'm going to kit it up in those. There's I only have 10 of them um, and there's 24 colors so I figure I'll put the ones that have the most colors um, or seem to have the most colors in those tray bricks and then I will uh, have another container for smaller ones that I'll use. So that'll be really cool. That'll be great to use in the car, especially. And um, I don't know, yeah, it'd, it'd be awesome to be able, I, maybe I'll order some more tray bricks in the meantime so I can use it, but I did want to get that video out, so. Um, okay, so yeah, a, let me show it to you now. And I will link all the post reviews. I have a post review for each of these down below. This is my over 15th overall finish. Yeah, I'm pretty new, guys. And my sixth um, finish for 2024. And my Paint Gem Mystery Edition was 16th overall with 7th. Um, Did I miss that? Okay, no. And 7th for 2024. And, yeah. So this one actually came first, then Paint Gem. But I thought I'd show you paint jump first. So this was a lot of fun. I did talk to Catherine about some gapping in there that I did notice. Uh, but the drill quality, I mean, there was zero trash. The drill quality was amazing. The canvas, I just love thick canvases. I do not like thin canvases. Some of these really nice diamond painting um, companies, I really, really like everything about it. And I still love the canvases because they're soft. But as I'm now working on a lot of these smaller, these, I don't mind, I, and I, I'll tell you which can, which companies I'm talking about. But um, I'm working right now on a Dreamer Designs, and I'm working on a Calming Canvas. And um, what's the other one that's kind of got the thinner? It was the, the one with the diamond art. And those three kind of, they're very nice canvases, and they're soft on the back. And I do really like them. They're just a little on the thinner side of canvases, and I noticed that it, I just don't like that type of canvas as much. But I'm having a ton of fun with all three kits. Uh, I guess technically calming canvas designs, I just barely kit it up. But the drills quality in that one is incredible as well. So I'm having fun with all three kits. It's not like I don't like the companies. I very, very much like the companies. I just wish the canvases would be a little thicker as all. Well. Um, so yeah, really love the canvas. Ton of fun with this. I'm really excited for the next one. 
Okay, so I had just the three finishes this year, this month, year. <laughs> Felt like a year, honestly. Um, let's turn this over and show you. I'm going to have to do some funky maneuvering with my camera to show you this one, but it is Witch's Flower Shop by Mrs. Buttered. I'm just gonna hold it up like this so you guys can see. Uh, it was a blast. And it is so beautiful and sparkly. Just look at the spark. I mean, it's a Diamond Art Club, guys. I mean, we already know it's got super good quality. And I loved the flowers with the ABs and the uh, fairy dust in the same place right here. Um, just the whole flower area. I just love this area. And this was my first coloring book style diamond painting where you have the outline with the darker color with everything. And then you fill it in with the rest of the colors. I had a blast, so much fun. This is the one that, that made me decide, um, hopefully Sunday it'll come out, because this is, should be coming out Friday, and hopefully on Sunday, oh, I got fuzzies. Hopefully on Sunday, the one for top artists ranking that I have going, I only have one in the series so far, this will be my uh, second episode in the series, and this one made me decide to do top coloring book style uh, artists for diamond painting. And the main part is going to be coloring book style. So not necessarily, it doesn't mean uh, artists who's, who have coloring books as well as their art as diamond paintings. Like, that's not what I mean. What I mean is um, it has the dark outline and then you color in with the other colors. Like that's going to be the parameter. And then my favorite art is based off of that. So anyway, it's gonna be really fun. That's coming out, I hope Sunday. I did originally plan on having a um, favorite diamond painting creators, but somehow I lost all my footage for that. And I just kind of got disheartened to have to do it again, especially since I was like almost done editing it. So I have to do that one again. I don't really have the heart right now, so I might push that to a later date and then Sunday instead. Either Sunday or later on in the week, do my um, favorite artists, coloring book style artists for diamond painting. I'm really excited for that one. Uh, I have all the research done, everything done that I need, except I just need to film it and edit it. So, and then, you know, post it and everything. So, yes, this is what made me decide on that. I had a few other choices. I've changed my mind a lot, but I'm sticking with coloring book style because that, oh, it was so much fun to do this canvas, guys. I had a lot of fun. And then uh, pretty much I'm done, but I did want to show you. Let me just, okay, sorry. Might make you guys dizzy. I did do a DP with sparklers bling up. So her, this is a, whoops, sorry, a quad right there. And it takes up four places. And I thought that was so perfect because it was the pink and then the white and then the pink outline from kind of the background and then the drill in the middle. And it just looked so cool. Focus, focus, there you go. And I thought that was a lot of fun. And then for her necklace, I did, this let's see if I can there we go these slivers uh and that was also from dp with sparklers and they fit pretty close these are actually meant for squares so that's why that doesn't quite fit for but it worked fine because then it, I got a little bit of the purple outline and then this one didn't quite fit let me show you up close because these are also meant for squares you can see I kind of had this is kind of bowed right here and up here too to make room for all of those and even then it's a little crooked i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mess with it it's it looks great so that was really really fun to do just that's the only changes i made i kind of backed away from making so many changes because my um valentine kitty i made so many changes that i was like oh i don't really like some of the changes i made and that's on me that's not the canvas even though the rendering's kind of eh, i don't really like the rendering but um yeah, so this was so much fun. It was fun to change up just enough to make it my own without, you know, going way overboard. So, okay guys, that's it. I'm going to say goodbye to you here. Let me know if you own any of these kits below, if you've done any of these finishes or if you plan on working on them anytime soon. And um, maybe if you made it to this end of the video, the end of this video, why don't you give me um, some flowers if you like this kit the best. 
um, some question marks if you like the idea of the, because I know you don't really see it, but if you like paint gems the best. Um, and then a little teddy bear or snowflake or something like that for the um, Diamonds on Canvas LLC finish that was just absolutely gorgeous as well. Uh, yeah, let me know. Put that in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me for more diamond painting content because I have a lot of fun ones in the works that I'm excited to show you post reviews for and status updates. So thanks guys for joining me. Stick around for that um, panel I'm going to put right here. Bye.